Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, in my last video, you may have noticed that I had a new thumbnail and the, I, w I just wanted to share how I did this because I was messing about uh, with Sony Movie Studio, which is basically the same as Sony Vegas, so you can do it there too. And I just want to show you how I did it and also how you can turn this into like an, in an intro as well because I know a lot of you that own this and a lot of you that do basic stuff but don't know this sort of thing. But anyway... First off, for the wood textures that I used, I just went, typed in wood in Google, as you do. Images. And you can download pretty much any texture that you want. So let's download something uh, rustic. This one looks good. I like the looks of this one. So let's uh, just click save image and yeah, that, done. Okay, so now we want a background picture. So I'm going to go to the forest. I'm just going to type in the forest. Uh, basically tap images and find a picture that looks kind of cool um, let's go with this one uh, save image job done once we've done that we're going to put in our background that we downloaded so it's this one we're then going to put in the text I'm just going to create some extra spaces quick we're going to put in the text, uh, tiles and text here, just standard text, nothing special. Make it all the same length so it's five seconds exactly. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to type in the forest, okay. Now at the moment it looks just like standard text, it doesn't look anything special. And don't worry about these borders, I'll show you that in a second. So now we're just going to make that bold. We're going to go maybe up to 52, okay. Now space, space, right, enter, enter. Uh, then I'm going to call it, uh, say, season 5, uh, episode, I don't know, let's go with 10. Uh, that's too big, so I'm going to highlight that, just that one bit, and I'm going to drop it down to about 20. Too small, so just up it to 24, a little bit bigger. Let's go with 36. There you go. In fact, I'm going to drop it down to 24. And done. Now we're going to put a title. I'm going to call it the demo. Okay. But that's too big. So again. Just going to highlight the bit I want. Drop it down to say 20. Uh, drop it down to 18. A bit more. There you go. Nice and small. Put a little space behind that. That's fine. So there we have how I did that part. Okay. Now let's make this fit the screen. So right click on it, properties, sorry, right click on it, switches, uh, maintain aspect ratio, uncheck it, bang, done, all sorted. Next thing I did is in here, in the text, I added uh, light rays, I did some moderate light rays in here, and as you can see it sort of like flashes it all out, gives it that like 3D look. Which is nice, uh, I'm just going to put the sensitivity up gonna whack all these up but the intent the uh, strength of it I'm gonna drop down quite minimal let's just get a little bit here now I'm also gonna animate this and you'll see why later because you don't have to just have it as a thumbnail you can actually have it as an intro too so I'm just gonna click animate I'm gonna bring it all the way to the top like this and then I'm gonna bring it across to the right and you'll see why soon. So now that's done. That should, as you can see it moving, like there's light going past it. Maybe you can see that, I don't know. It's very subtle. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the shadows on the text. I want some shadows, of course. Um, I want to animate the X axis. So let's just access some shadows first. There they are. Now the X is left and right, so we want to do that. Let's just drop this up here so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, so the beginning I want there. Now it looks nice and 3D look. Let's drag the keyframe to the very end. In fact, let's lock that. So when we move that look, it actually moves the video, which is cool, which is pretty much what we're going for, right? So let's get that to the end which is there we're going to animate this now drop it, uh, drop it in a little bit say there just going to have it go to the 
left a little bit. Okay. And I also want that up a little bit so it goes down. Not too much though, because that's crazy. Okay, done. Now you can see, look, as I go from side to side, you can see the light and the text moving with it. Okay. However, for the thumbnail, we're just going to leave it like that. Nice and clear. Now let's get our text. So here's the text. Um, remember we downloaded the uh, wooden texture. Just going to drag it on top. Simp simple as that. No issue whatsoever. Done. Obviously that looks terrible. What we're going to do, we're going to right click on it. We go to switches. Again with the maintain aspect ratio. Unclick it. Full screen. Happy days. Uh, here, we're going to click compositing mode or composition mode. And what happened now, you still see the crack. So what I'm going to do is on the text, just going to click up. And there you go. That fixes it. Uh, now the cracks through here, obviously they're the cracks on the wood. So if you don't like this texture, what you can do is cut that. And you can get, you know, a much smoother texture. Like for me, I'm going to use this one. Okay. And there you go. And because we've already got this uh, compositing mode done, it's already finished and it's already there. And there's the first part. And it looks quite nice. Text is sort of like embossed a little bit. Um, what I'll do now is we're going to go to bump map. I'm just going to give it a little bit of bump map. Um, let's go some height on the text. Drag it onto the text. And you can see now it's starting to tidy up a little bit. Although it is a little bit dark. So let's just brighten that up. There we go. And you can just adjust this to whatever you want. You can make it high, big. That looks a bit blurred, so I'm not going to go with that. Just a bit brighter. There we go. Just get it a bit more bright. There we go. Done. I'm sort of happy with that. But now we want the edges blurred out. So what I do for this is I go to Media Generators. Um, what's that say there? Color Gradient. We're going to go for this one going to drop it on here simple as that simple as looks ridiculous I know but just bear with me I'll drop the two down a little bit just to get the edges like I want them see this is quite easy bring the one in a bit because yeah just going to pull that in a little bit to get rid of the blur I think that's enough and then what we're going to do is uh, click the two that we did and change its color to white. Now you can see that look. It's got a nice little blur. We're going to bring that in a little bit though. It's just a little bit. There we go. And that's how I did the thumbnail. Now, now you remember we animated the shadows. And we animated the uh, lighting. Now this is the thing. Because we animated those things. What we're going to do now. Is we're going to go to video effects. Where are you? I'm looking for lens flare, flare by the way. Let's put a 35mm lens on here like this. Now obviously that's the wrong way right now. But here we go. Light position. Animate. We're going to drop you right at the end there. I think uh, there. Pull the keyframe key over right to the end. And we're going to have it slowly go across the screen like so. Now, there's the thumbnail. However, when we move it like this, look, all the shadows move with the light. So you've got a thumbnail and an intro coming in one. But just bear with me. Um, there is something I wanted to do. And that's on the lens flare. So let's just click this on the text and get the... Uh, it's not there. It's on this one, isn't it? Just want to adjust the lens flare so we can see a little bit more of it. There we go. We've got a little bit in the middle come up look. Um, I'm also... Uh, for the thumbnail, I would probably have it start a little bit, I don't know, you know, in the middle like, like so. But obviously for the animation, then no. Okay, there we go. So there's the thumbnail. Just click here. Save screenshot as. And there you go. Just going to call it image whatever. 
Uh, I think it goes in my documents. And there we go, image 22. And there's the thumbnail. It looks okay. Not as good as this one. Yes, episode 9 is on its way. But yeah. Now let's just render this. Because you can also make it as an intro. So I'm just going to hold shift. Group these with G. Uh, fade. Fade that puppy out. Uh, I want some five second music. Something just generic five second uh, intro music. I've got a couple. We've got Dizzy Sting. That would do. Drop that in. Uh, cut it there. Keep it all dead on five seconds. Alright, render. We should be able to do this in real time, guys. Even though I'm recording, it shouldn't really matter. My PC is good enough. Okay, so uh, let's call this a test. Render. Probably rendering at 60 frames per second. And also I'm recording, so it might take a little extra longer than usual. But if I need to, I'll skip back. Okay, guys, so we are done here. Let's just exit that. We don't need to save it. We're going to go to uh, where it's saved in my documents. Movie Studio. Uh, here it is. I'm just going to play it back. And yeah, that is how you make a quick thumbnail and a quick intro. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Or not, if you didn't. And yeah, guys, I shall see you in the next episode of The Forest, which will be tomorrow, by the way, on Sunday. So yeah, see you then. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.